Hey, what's up, guys? We're here in the garage today. We're doing a doing a little update. I uh, just wanted to show you what we're up to today. Uh, we did make some progress, so it's a good thing. Still at the bug up on the stand, uh, but we did get a new addition to the chassis we got two four pans welded in uh not fully welded in yet but uh maybe 90 percent which is a huge huge step in the progress um now this what this means is we're gonna have to do a little bit of work um so that's what we're doing uh kind of put some paint on the rear chassis on the forks clean that up a little bit uh so it looks a little bit better still need to get underneath and then what we'll have to do is do some seam sealer all around the tunnel uh, and get underneath and do some paint and not sure if i'm going to do the the por 15 yet i think that's the route i'm going to go um but still not sure um i have i have some so if, if that's what i choose i already have it on hand so that's a good thing um what we have been working on today is trying to get this fuel line unclogged there's a ton of gunk in there so we've been taking an old well it's not an old accelerator here but um an extra one that i had purchased um and just trying to put that through haven't seen any uh huge accomplishments on that yet but we are you know seeing a lot of gunk in there so we're going to keep working on that get that taken care of um that way we can you know make that determination if that's uh fuel lines good to go or if we have need to make any uh repairs on that which is not a fun task but i'm um, trying to get that knocked out quick uh, and then once we get the, the the pants fully welded in um then like i said we'll put the seam sealer on we'll get the por 15 we'll paint that um and then i have uh started working on the the shift bushing um i was gonna do that but i did notice um that i hadn't ordered a gasket for the inspection cover we just ordered a gasket from wolfsburg west so hopefully that'll come in um the next day or two um uh, but it's coming along um We've been chipping away at some bodywork as well, trying to get this finished up. Uh, that way I can get that uh, final, the final uh, mud on there. And it's pretty smooth now. I just need to finish that up. Um, put the mud on there, clean this uh, inner fender well up. I do have a, a bolt, nuts or insert, whatever you call it. I need to get that. Um, I have some ordered. I have some in stock here. Um, so I just need to figure out how to do that. Um, from what I've seen, um, I just, just need to punch this in a little bit. Um, so that way the, the insert sets in there. And then we can weld that in. Um, but it's moving along. It's just little things. I've been trying to do little things. Um, it's been a lot of cleaning at this point. Um, cleaning up the chassis, getting all... The old grease and mud and whatever else is on there um trying to get that cleaned up and then i've been making a mess over here with the sanding um as you can see so i've been sanding this and i've been working on this part which the rear c pillar which has been kind of a nightmare um, but it looks like we got it sanded down still have a little bit to go on this part um i've been trying to shape this but there's still a dip right here and i'm not really sure um how to move forward with this uh, i don't want to pack in too much mud um so i'm i'm just going to continue um shaping that sanding it down um applying a little bit i don't want to put too much mud on i did get this part shaped pretty good still working on this um so it's it's just a process um 
this is only the, the passenger side of the car so we still have the driver's side to do but uh like i said it's just been little things um that have added up to you know some some big things uh marked off the list uh, i've been trying to come out here on my lunch break get one or two things knocked off even if it's uh like cleaning the chassis cleaning all the grease um that sets me up for success on a that sets me up for success on another task so uh still a lot to do but uh we're moving forward um we've gotten some help we've gotten some help with the project um so that's been huge for me um so i i appreciate all you guys sticking around uh we just wanted to give an update show you what i'm doing show you how things are going things are going good I'm trying to make progress and move forward on this project um i saw the uh, live feed event with brent and greg um for the vw run 22 um i would like to be optimistic and say that uh this will be accomplished and i'm still that's my goal um so i know it's going to take a lot of hard work so it just needs to be done um like i said one little thing a day will add up to big things in the long run so you start seeing the things marked off the list um so again i appreciate everybody watching thank you all right guys thank you again for watching i did want to give a huge shout out to my car club classic v dubs if you haven't already checked them out they're on pretty much all social media they're on facebook tiktok um so check them out it's a great bunch of guys have some really cool cars and uh if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be at the step where i'm at in this project so i want to shout out to the all the guys in classic v dubs Thank you, and thank you guys for watching. And uh, you can see the spooky pumpkin in the background. He'll be coming out soon with Halloween. So uh, thank you again, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, stick around for more progress. Thank you. See you later.